Hi, Kindy. I hope you have a fabulous Friday. Our learning intention today is good readers can retell the main parts of the story. Our story this week is called Clancy the Quacker by Lily Wilkinson. Yesterday, you had to retell the main parts of the story and draw them on a film strip summary. So with someone at home, can you recap the main events of this story? Let's read it. Clancy the Quacker. Here's Clancy the Quacker, so friendly and charming. His innocent face is truly disarming. But don't be deceived by his grinning and beaming. On the inside our Clancy is plotting and scheming. He preys upon picnickers, tourists and campers, expert at raiding their coolers and tampers. A table is laden with lollies and chips, with jellies and popcorn crackers and dips. The feast is enormous, golly thinks Clancy. I've never clapped eyes on a party so fancy. Clancy creeps closer, but music starts playing. His pathway is blocked by spinning and swaying. Clancy advances and almost derails the passing of parcels, the pinning of tails. Mm, I wonder what he's thinking of doing next. He puts on a bow, stands still and pretends to be one of the many wrapped presents from friends. Oh no, he's too late. The birthday girl grins. The candles are lit. The singing begins. He yanks on the tablecloth, pulling down hard, scattering gift bags and presents and cards. That's a good distraction, don't you think? Grandpa is startled, disturbing the ants, who stream rather quickly right into his pants. Poor Grandpa. As Mum tries to calm the shriekers and screamers. Clancy ignores the shouts and the cries. He's focused, fixated. His eyes on the prize. Clancy has made it. He clutches the cake as the whole fancy party falls into the lake. Oh, the poor birthday girl. So sad. So annoyed. Her fabulous party completely destroyed. Clancy sits down, ready to bite. But something is wrong. Something doesn't feel right. Clancy tries to ignore the wailing and sobbing. Did he cause all that with his birthday cake rubbing? Do you think he has caused all that? I think he has. Clancy considers the cake so enticing. It's towering layers, it's colourful icing. But then he returns to the wreck and the rubble and proffers the cake. He knows he's in trouble. Look at his face and those cheeky cheeks. Clancy's a hero. The party's restored. He humbly accepts his tasty reward. Look at what he's trying to get now. What was the problem in the story? How was the problem solved? How did Clancy's character change throughout the story? Do you think Clancy has learnt his lesson? What is your favourite part of this story? 
my favourite part is when they took a selfie with the quokka. Look at those cheeky cheeks. Today, your writing task is on the next slide. But if you would like to, there's a sentence unscramble at the bottom of our reading slide today. I hope you have a fabulous weekend.